Absolutely terrified. She looks scared to death. All you can see on her face is, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't! Don't do this! Don't Jillian, do it! Don't do it. it. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Son of a bitch! Okay, so you decide which one's the easy way or the hard way. Oh my God. <laughs> Moses, Rulin, unfortunately, there is a weight limit on this cable going down. It's 280 pounds, and you guys aren't going to be able to take that option. Jay, you've got a heart condition, too, so you're not going to be able to do this. I'm really disappointed. I now just wish that I had lost about another 10, 15 pounds more so I could have made this jump. This is definitely a reminder for, for me that, that I still have a ways to go. The rest of you guys, you have the choice. What's it going to be? Who's going to do it? Me! me! Ken, what about you? I don't know. Ken. I really don't know if I'm going to do this or not. You can do this, Ken. What, are you afraid of heights? Oh, it's my number one fear. If Jillian can look like that when it has such a look of terror on her face, I'm thinking this isn't a fear that I need to overcome. No, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it my number one fear. If I have a nightmare at night, it's me falling off a bridge or something. Yeah. You have the chance you. to overcome your greatest fear today. OK, you, you didn't understand. I don't, I don't know that I have any desire to overcome this fear. <laughs> right, OK. You're like, All I'm right. fine with being a fear. I, I don't high. have any desire. Ken was not here to face his fear of heights. And I had sympathy for that, because I'm really afraid of heights. My stomach has been nauseous ever since I've been up on top of that tower. I feel like. If you can do this, then I can do this. And I'm so afraid. I really am. And I'm like, I, I don't care that anybody knows it. As a trainer here on The Biggest Loser, it's like I try to get people to face their fears all the time. And I said, you know what? If you do it, I'll do it. And I was really hoping he would say no. You know, it's like, are we going to do this? I've already made a decision I'm not going to do this. But then I started realizing, OK, if he's as afraid as I am, and we both do this together, well, then we can overcome this fear together. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to really try. So I'm going to do it. I appreciate that you're going to do it with me. You're going to do it. All right. I guess we're going to do it. You'll be fine. Yeah. This is something I would have never done before when I was really heavy. I would have never done this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. You ready? I'm ready. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited for Lydia because she is, I mean, not to be rude, you know, I love you, but she's a super control freak. And she would yeah. never do this in her normal life. No. And here at The Biggest Loser, she's just letting go of those ropes. And now it's time for us to jump into our new lives, right? Yeah, absolutely. Together. It's a great way to start off everything. It's awesome. That's right. Oh, come on out. Oh, my gosh. Can I have a look over here? Look at her. She's unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Looking over that ledge, all I can think about is I'm 1,100 feet in the air, and it feels like I'm leaving that old life behind, and I'm not afraid. Oh my god. Okay. To see Hannah standing there like this and looking down, that, that is crazy. That was amazing! That was amazing. That's real unnatural. Oh, oh my god! Awesome! Oh my god! Jumping off this platform is just like jumping into a new me. I never want to look back. I never want to back away from the ledge. I always want to take that leap of faith. That's my girl! Love it. Holy cow. <laughs> The second that I let go, it was like the most freeing experience I've ever had in my life.
I don't feel like it's tight enough. Is it on me? No, it's not tight enough yet. I haven't finished. So worst comes to the worst, if you get out there and you can't stand there front on with your arms like this, yep. you can turn around and the guide will hold on to you and you fall off backwards. So you can go backwards if you want to, but you should try to go forwards first. Why? Because it's, it's an amazing feeling. Oh, we're going to lean forward like this? I don't care this? about an amazing feeling. <laughs> I'm just doing this for... Ken, why didn't you just say, no, we weren't going to do this? Okay. I'm like, no, I'm why just... didn't I take the elevator down and meet everybody there? Why am I here? My heart is racing. Bob told Ken if Ken would do it, that Bob would do it. Oh, my God! Oh my God. Let me tell you, the one thing that Bob fears more than anything on the planet, except aging, is heights. <laughs> heights. He fears heights more than anything. I'll be praying for you. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. In some ways, I hope that he would back out, but I don't think Bob's going to back out of it. Is it Bob? It's Bob! Oh, my God, it's Bob! Oh, my God! I think it's He's Bob. Doing it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right hand on there? Come on, lift it. Oh my gosh, he's like having a heart attack right now. Watch the detail. Alrighty, guys, here's ball. Three, two, one. Drop it! Oh, oh. Ah. oh my god. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. 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 My knees, it feels like my legs don't want to work right now. What I won't do for the biggest loser. That was crazy. <laughs> oh my so god. Cool. That was unbelievable. If Ken doesn't go, are you gonna ruin his life? Oh, he's going to do it. Heights have never been his thing, so much that he was in a baseball stadium and had to like get a new seat because it was too high up. We'll find out, buddy. So for him to be walking towards the edge of a building, getting ready to jump off, that's nuts. Good stuff, mate. Doing well. You're doing well. I'm about six inches from the edge. And at that moment, I genuinely am thinking, Bob isn't going to hate me if I turn around and don't do this. How could I have found myself in New Zealand, of all places, getting ready to jump off the highest structure in the southern hemisphere? I just don't know if I can do this. Hmm. Come on, Ken. I wonder if he's going to do it. Here you go, Ken. Come on, you can do it. How you doing now, Ken? Feeling a bit more nervous than you were on the inside. Yeah. No worries. How could I have found myself in New Zealand, of all places, getting ready to, to jump off the highest structure in the Southern Hemisphere? Um, I, I just don't know if I can do this. Everyone that comes up feels a little bit, little bit nervous. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna put this one onto the front, like, just like this. Okay. Before I ever step onto this steel plank, I'm thinking there was a couple of guys in the group that are too large weight-wise to make this jump, and I'm wishing I was one of them. Back up. Here it goes. Here it goes. Come on, Ken. Right hand, grab that. Then turn it over here. Chase on the edge and wait there for us. Uh... Oh my gosh, Ken. We're gonna do the countdown now, Ken. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! This is what Biggest Loser is all about. It's about facing your fears head on and jumping right over them. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 Gosh, we did it! <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, 
I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> You're so awesome, kid! <laughs> I believe I did that. Oh, I'm telling you, I thought I was yeah, gonna die. Is. I thought I was gonna die right there. I actually can't even still believe that I actually stepped off the edge. Because that was the hardest thing right there, was just stepping off the edge and just taking the breath and going boom. I can't even hardly get on a chair or a ladder to do something. So doing this was incredible. How do you feel? Exhilarated. Yes! Exhilarated. Unstoppable. I feel alive. That was so I'm badass. Glad I did it. it was really cool that Bob stepped up and decided he would he would overcome his fear with me. This whole experience, all of the trainers all along have helped me overcome the fears, fear of the gym, fear of equipment, wondering if my heart was gonna explode if I worked out too hard. So this whole journey has been about overcoming fear. And so this was just hopefully one of the last steps of overcoming the fear that I had. Well, today sure was a day of overcoming fears, including my biggest fear. I can't believe I jumped off that thing, and I'm so proud of everyone. It was fun. I to welcome New Zealand. I jumped off that building, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>